<laughs> really, how? Look at this guy. He's like, I see you behind that tree. What's up, my immune friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival. And man, this animal hide is taking a long time, and you know what's taking longer? The freaking guts, dude. Man, freaking 38%. That is taking forever. That's taking, probably taking too long. The dried meat is done, though, but I'm not going to eat the dried meat until all the regular meat is gone. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and chat down on some regular meat today. Today, we are going to go out and get the M4. We're going to loot the, we're going to reloot the main military camp. I actually um, did a little test game and looted it um, off camera, and I didn't save the game, obviously, because I want to loot it with you guys, but there is loot there now, so that is freaking awesome. I just want to say right off the bat, guys, the developer is busting his mother effing A double S on this game. Um, he's doing updates, he's fixing stuff, he's working on stuff. He put out a roadmap, right, of like what he's looking at in the future. I mean, he's really working hard, and I'm very, very excited about this. Uh, and this is making me very, very hyped to play this game a lot. If you guys want to see a lot of videos of this game, you're going to be happy because I'm going to be making a lot of videos. All right, I went ahead and made a big storage locker um, really quickly. I did that off camera. I don't really like to do that, but I'm going to show you what it costs to make it, right? Security locker. Right there. So I went ahead and made a security locker uh, for food. I've got some other food stuff up here. Um, that thing's still doing water. And I got another security locker right here for all my tools, weapons, stuff like that. Got a bunch of stuff in here. I'm just kind of, if you guys want to really see how I'm organizing things, just go ahead and pause the video at any point. I'm just going to kind of show you what I'm looking at right now. All right. Got a bunch of stuff in there. Uh, you know what? I'm going to need that body armor. And I'm going to need the helmet. Am I actually wearing the helmet? I don't know. It's a good question. Let's take a look. I cage. The the key you're looking for is I. No, I'm not. Okay, I'll put it on right before I attack the um the bandits. Yes, we are going to be attacking bandits today. Should be a lot of fun. All right. So that's what we're looking at as far as storage goes. I do have some batteries on the floor because I still don't have enough storage. I'm, you know, I'm working on it. I am working on it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this stuff right here. I'm going to fill up the truck and we're going to go get the M4 and probably loot that military camp. And then we're going to go, uh, you know, attack some bandits. And um, I was going to attack the bandits. There's a really big bandit base. Remember where that sniper was when I drove my car um, up that one long road like a few episodes ago? And there was that really big uh, bandit base up there. That's like the big bandit base, right? I don't think I'm ready for it, though. Uh, so we're going to kind of get a smaller bandit base. Oh, we also have to remember, before we attack the bandit bases, we have to make ourselves a home. Because if we don't make a home, then we're not going to have a place for our survivors to go. Um, so, you know, it doesn't really matter where the home is, to be honest, right now. I mean, my, my ultimate plan is to make a big old cabin uh, right over here where all these trees are. Right? But those cabins are pretty expensive, aren't they? How much are those cabins? I just want to look really quick. I want to make, like, the best one. Oh, yeah. 70 logs. I mean, a bunch of sticks, a bunch of nails. Actually, the, the, none of this stuff is that bad. It's mostly the logs. Um, I've already got a lot of logs, though. <laughs> yeah, so I want to make that... I want to make that, um... That big bandit... Or that big, uh log cabin house and that's going to be the main one but you know that's not going to be for a few videos so i need something in the meantime to have like my my people to stay at um otherwise i, I think they just like kind of disappear if you don't have a place for them uh to go some people have been annoyed that i've not been showing the traveling um i tend to cut out the traveling because i find it like you know there's nothing to it i'm just driving from point a to point b but the thing is a lot of people don't know the map and they want to know the map so yeah, I think in the interest of uh, showing you guys the map, I'll show a little bit more of the traveling. I actually have a map that a player made. Um, if I remember, I will put a link to it in the description of the video. Um, I'll try. I'll try really hard to remember. It's pretty. Uh, pretty decent map, actually. Um, so that is awesome, and uh, I will definitely put that in there. So right here, we're on the main road. So we need to. We need to just drive uh, past here. It's a little bit tough here with the driving, you know, because uh, you know it's just it's not a very uh, it, it's, it was a paved road at some point, but after the apocalypse, you know, not so much anymore. Now it's just kind of like uh, a cluster F. So you guys know this road, right? I mean, this is pretty simple. You just keep driving down this road and you will eventually come to the military camp. And here we are at the military camp. Now, I've seen bandits in here uh, about half 50% of the time I come here. There's bandits. So you got to be a, you know, you might want to be a little bit careful here. Definitely save the game at the very least. And um, try and be a little bit careful. What day am I on, by the way? Day 7. Loot will respawn on day 10. Um, if loot respawns on day 10, what I think the game should do, and I think it does do this, it'll, like, give you double loot. Like, let's say, let's say, hypothetically speaking, I never looted this trunk, and day 10 went by. Uh, whatever loot is in the trunk should be doubled, you know? So that way you don't have to worry about, like, looting the entire world by day 10, which, you know, 
is not very easy. Um, so, all right. So I think the M4 is up here, if I remember correctly. Maybe. Yep, there it is. Wow. Ah, that's a cool looking M4 rifle. Hells to the freaking yeah. All right, so where should that go? We're going to put that right there. And we're going to put the M4. Um, I'm going to put the M4 as number one. Shotgun number two. There we go. Let's go ahead and load this bad boy up. There we go. Hells yeah. Now, one thing I'd like for this game to add is a click option for zooming in. Right now, you have to hold the zoom in button. I, I would really like an option to just click the button once and stay zoomed in. I think that'd be... I think that would be really, really helpful. All right, so let's go ahead and save the game. Now, like I said, I came back here and I looted off camera, and then I didn't, I didn't save the game because I was kind of curious because you know he's kind of fixing loot and adding loot, and um, I did loot a container in here that I know I've looted before, and it was empty before, and then I looted it then, like off camera, and it had loot in it. So and it was pretty sick loot too. That's like some grenades and stuff. Um, hopefully, it'll still be there. All right, we gotta be careful here because I'm really oh water bottle. Water bottle. Uh, I'm not seeing any uh, any baddies. It's kind of hard to, you know, look for loot while looking out for bandits. You know, it's not exactly easy. So we're just gonna kind of be a little bit careful here. All right. Uh, looks like we're okay. I think I would have seen them by now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I would have seen them by now. All right. Empty. 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 I think you could take that apart too, but I'm not going to bother right now. I don't really want to take much apart until I get the sledgehammer. Because, uh, you know, it just it takes so much durability out of the axe. I'm going to need a lot of the axe to chop down trees. That's for damn sure. Okay, not seeing anything in here. Anything I picked up off the ground last time I was here will definitely not still be here. You know, it's not going to, like, respawn on the ground, I don't think. So, uh, I think it's the containers that I might... Yep, there's a container right there. Also, I could take these containers with me, and I think I will do that. Yep, there you go. What I tell you? We got some frag grenades and some hand grenades. I don't know what the difference is. Um, so that's pretty cool. Very cool. And then, uh, oh, look at this. Two of them. See? That's what happened. The loot respawned. Okay, so this is this one right here, I believe, was the loot box that was here that was empty when I first came here. And then I think when he fixed it, it respawned a loot box on top of it, if that makes any sense. So that yeah, that's that's exactly what happened. So come on, come on, there we go. I'll take those back off camera. I'm not gonna make you sit through that. I just want to put them down there so I can get to them easier later. Whoop, easy there, buddy. All right, so let's see what else we got around here. Uh, oh, here we go. Got some loot right here. Oh no, that's the that's the one we already got. Oh, here's one on the side. Is that something I can loot? That looks like something I should be able to loot. Nope, it's open. Yeah, I see it's broken open. Never mind. And let's come through here. We've already been in there. Uh, went over here. Oh, here we go. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, let's put these outside. These storage containers are invaluable, man. I need to bring these home. I've got batteries all over my floor at home. I can't, I can't have stuff being all over the floor. So we need to bring these storage things home because they're free. I don't have to craft them myself and it gives me, you know, free storage, right? You know, did I hear something? Hmm. Must be imagining it. All right, here we go. Another crate. Oh, there we go. And then there should be one inside of it. Okay, so we'll throw that out there. This one's going to be empty. Yep, that's, that's the one that spawned here the first time that was empty. And he's like, that's not supposed to be empty. So he spawned more. You know, and that's awesome. That's that's the developer I love. Like, you know, th th there should have been loot in there. It's not. Spawn something else in there. Give me some loot, man. For real. For reals, brah. All right, I think there's another one over here. And I think this might be the last one that I'm aware of. All right, I do believe this is the last loot container in here. Oh, there we go. More grenades. An MRE. Yeah, that's some good stuff. That is some good stuff. Now we'll move this out here. I wonder if I can get my car in here. I, I want to be able to get my, my truck in here. I don't want to carry these all the way back to the truck, you know, separately. Um, I, I'm going to try and get my truck in here, guys. And then uh, once we've done that, I'm going to get ready and we're going to go attack some bandits. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot to make myself a house. All right, I'm going to have to go home and make myself a house. Then we'll attack some bandits. We might actually have to do it. Oh, no. it's might have to actually do it tomorrow, but it is only 8, 8 o'clock in the morning. So we still might have time today. Let me see what I can get done. Okay, got another container up here. So there we go. More loot. Now, is that a double stack? Yes, it is. 
Can I move that out of there? Or it doesn't seem to be letting me. Oh, there we go. Maybe it's not a double stack. Yeah, it looks like I'm moving both of them at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really know what's going on there. Yeah, that's some uh, that's some funny stuff right there. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clam. We're gonna clam. No, we're not gonna clam. We're gonna claim this cabin right here as our own. It's the closest one to my base. Yeah, I could make one by my base, but why make one when I got this one right here? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the shelter settings, and we are going to make this your active base. Small house is set as base. There we go. And now that's our base. And w when we uh, rescue hostages, they should come here. And that'll be a good place for them to stay for the time being. By the way, look at this. <laughs> look at this monstrosity. I mean, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. That is awesome. That is awesome. I don't even think I'm going to go home. I think I'm just going to go right to the... Uh, wait, why can't I back up? Kind of weird that I'm having trouble backing up. Is it because I'm overloaded? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe I will go home and drop some of this stuff off. I wasn't going to, but I was just going to go right to the, um, right to the bandit camp and get to, get to battling. But you know what? We're right here. We might as well drop some of this stuff off too. This has been an incredibly fruitful episode already. Even if I fail this bandit raid outright, come out of it with nothing, right? Um, this is already, this has already been a great, I mean, we got storage. We got all the storage we're going to need for a while. Um, we got the M4, got some, uh, we got some guns, some grenades, some bullets, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it's already been a good episode. I'd really like to finish it off, though, with a bang. <laughs> no pun intended. All right, so I'm just going to uh, try not to crash. All right, let's just park right here. All right, let's get out. This is what we got left. Let's come on over here. Let's put on some of our gear, equipment. There we go. Bulletproof vest. Let's save. Let's take stock of our ammo. We've got the uh, rifle with a full magazine plus uh, a few bullets there. We've got the shotgun in case we got to run in. Uh, we've got the magnum, or is it magnum? I'm getting nervous. Can you tell by the way I'm talking? I'm starting to get nervous. We got the revolver, and that's the bandit camp right there. So, do I want to go in from the front, or do I want to kind of work my way around from behind? I think I'm going to try from the front for the first part of it. I guess. I mean, normally what I would do is I would use the bow, but man, you could tell by the way that the the guts are drying. It's taking forever for the bow. You know. Um, oh, you know what I should have brought? I should have brought a shield. Eh, it's too late, I guess. That's all right. We'll bring a shield next time. Um, what is this? Have I been up here? Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I've not been up here. All right. Well, whatever. Let's not get. Let's not get sidetracked. I mean, we're just gonna go in like f right in from the front, man. And if that doesn't work, then we'll try from the back. No big deal. I don't know why I'm reloading. Uh, well, because I didn't have the thing full. That's why I'm reloading. Uh, save the game. I'm, I'm getting nervous, guys. Okay. Cage. Focus, bro. Should I just go in, like, ham, or... I don't know. They're gonna spot me pretty much, pretty quickly. Uh, you can, like... People say you can sneak around, but I've never been good at sneaking in this game, so... You know. Uh... I don't know how they can't see me from there, but, yeah, I guess we'll come in from the side over here. I don't know if you get, like, more sneak... More sneaky sneak points by, uh, ducking... But, again, I really wish I had an option to just click this once and stay zoomed in. I'm going to actually ask the developer for that. Because I, I think it would really help. So, a lot of times they do patrol the outside, but I'm not seeing anybody to the left. So, I mean, if they get caught in, like, inside, like, I'm just going to, like, destroy them. Um, so, we'll see. We'll see. I do have to go to the mine at some point because I do want to start uh, stockpiling some ammo. All right. Kind of, yeah, they're usually around the outside. I don't know why there's nobody over here to the left. It's weird that I'm getting this close. Usually, this was not the case before. But I could just go shoddy. Eh, nah, I'll use the M4. Well, I mean, I'm pretty close. Oh, maybe... You know what? Let's, let's use a revolver. Why not? Okay. I, I wish I could lean. One down. Oh, boy. Reload! Oh, God, Cage. Don't reload. All right. For those of you who don't know about me, maybe this is your first time here. Hello, I'm KJ48. I reload when I don't need to. I do it all the time, man. I shot one shot, and I'm like, oh, let me reload. Because I'm a freaking genius. All right, Cage, when you fire your gun, if you run out of bullets, don't reload. Switch to another gun. 
So if you run out of bullets, just hit number two. It's not, it's not, this isn't rocket science, bro. <sighs> Alright, let's see if we can do this. I, I was thinking about jumping up on that garbage container and see if I could pop him from there, but we'll try this one more time. Maybe I'll do the garbage container thing next time. Alright, so... Okay. Aim! Damn. I don't know, I, I, I thought I was like in the middle of the screen there. I felt like those shots should have hit him. I don't have a crosshair though, so I can't really tell. Um, you know, so I'm gonna have to aim. Eh, fair enough. Can't really complain about a game that makes you aim. So I logged in, get ready to attack again, right? Reloaded the game. And um, yeah, freaking missed, right? But I can hurt these guys. Check this out. With the, with the, uh, I didn't know you could attack with the, um, uh, with the crowbar. It did say you could. I don't know why I just didn't think about it. Hey. I'm right here, jackass. So if you try and sleep through the night, <clears throat> they'll come at you. And then you can kill them. And then maybe loot them. So I should definitely keep the baseball bat on me. This would um this would make the baseball bat somewhat useful. There we go. I don't know if they can hit me from uh, down there, but I back up just in case. And then uh, I'm just going to rinse and repeat and kill these guys until uh, the mist is over. And then we'll go and attack the bandits again. I'll loot him on camera for you guys as well. God, that was extremely productive. Holy crap, look at all these bodies. Look at that, I'm gonna get some salt. I'm gonna get some duct tape and some military stuff. Uh, I'm gonna get some food. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this was great. This was great. How about some cloth? That would be the, the best, right? Get some cloth maybe? I can't really tell which ones I've looted and which ones I haven't. I think I've looted them all pretty much. Okay. Well, there's a bunch over here, too. Now, I know they're still making noise. They're either in, stuck in the ground, or they're not really... They're making noise, but they are really dead, so that's fine. Alright. So, you know what? The mist started off being really annoying, but hell yeah, that was that was worth it, man. Got 10 salt out of that. A little bit of other food stuff. Oh, really good. Really good. <laughs> Just getting a little breath there. Um, and I'm going to try and remember to aim this time. Hold down the right mouse button and aim, bro. Hit number two for the shotgun. If you run out of ammo, do not reload. Okay. Come on. Come on. Anybody else? Let's see if we got anybody else in here. Nope. I think that's it. All right. I think that is it. Unless there's someone inside waiting for me, which could be the case. Um, let's go ahead and loot these guys first. How many was that? Three? I think that was three. Alright, got some food off him. How about some guns, bro? How about th some guns? Hey, these guys are red shirts. Of course they died. Yeah, so there's three. Alright, so we got a little bit of bullets there. A little bit of food. I'm not going to say no to that. And let's save and see what we got going on inside. All right, crowbar, let's proceed. Okay, wait, nobody's in here? Oh, that's weird. I thought there'd be a, someone to rescue in here. Well, maybe somewhere else, we'll see. Uh, let's crowbar this open. Maybe they're in this, uh, maybe they're in this box here. <laughs> All right, got some ammo. Okay, got some antidote. Okay, helmet. Uh, I'm not seeing anything else in here. Anything in there? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, nothing in there. Alright, fair enough. Close that. Nothing, nothing. What do we got in here? Crowbar this sucker. Crowbar this bad boy open. These should be locked crates, shouldn't they? Like, locked, locked lockers or whatever? Security lockers? Or... Really, nothing, huh? That's... Okay. I'm a, I gotta be honest, I'm a little disappointed. What the hell? Well, we haven't looted everything yet. Let's look around. Knife. Okay, nothing over there. Is There's not a... Sur oh! No, there's not a survivor here? There's nothing? No seeds? No survivor? No nothing? Ugh. What? Am I missing something? Maybe I'm missing something. You guys let me know in the comments if I am. And don't bother mentioning the bag. I just found the bag. 
Uh, I guess the bag alone makes this somewhat worth it. I mean, it is a three upgrade bag too. Let me show you what I'm talking about in case you guys don't know. Um, there's a bag right here. There we go. Three upgrade slots. That alone makes it worth it. But I, I got to be honest. I was hoping to get some seeds and a survivor. I'm, I'm kind of surprised, guys. Did you guys find survivors here? Is this just bad luck on my part? Is this bugged? Is this intended? You know, let me know. Because I don't really know. Usually there'd be a survivor in this back room. You guys want to see how far I could throw one of these lockers? Check this out. Ready? Oh, damn it. I threw one like a mile. And I did it off camera, of course. Hold on. There we go. That's not so bad. <laughs> I threw one way over here, man. Like, from that spot, I threw a locker all the way down here into the woods. I don't even know if I could find it. Like, it went freaking flying. Wow, there it is. Look at how far this went, man. Uh, I wish I got that on video. <laughs> it really went far. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, let's get this stuff back back to base. All right, guys, um, I'm kind of in an awkward spot right here. I don't, I have enough time on the video where I have to do more stuff, but I don't have enough time where I can do things I want to do. Uh, <laughs> so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna got we're gonna kind of go poke around at that other bandit camp, like the big one, and just kind of look around, right? Um, I've, I've poked around off camera, and basically every time I poke around over there, uh, the, the snipers spot me and, and shoot me, like, dead in, like, two seconds. Um, so I don't know how to get up there. People have said that they, like, sneak up there and, like, you know, they sneak in and they assassinate everybody and, like, they're freaking, like, uh, I don't know, some kind of crazy assassin type. But I don't know. I've, I've had a problem with it. The snipers always spot me and kill me instantly. So we're going to kind of just poke around up there and see, what, see what's what. I mean, you guys can tell me your... Uh, your tricks of the trade, as far as this place goes. Um, I believe it's that away. Yeah, it's that way. Uh, let me see. Can I go? If you see the tower, you've gone too far. Yeah, I've gone too far. If I get out right now, I will be sniped and killed. But I think I can come around over here, maybe. Now, it doesn't look like there's anywhere I can go over there. By the way, I can't back up with this truck. There's a bug with the truck. Sometimes when it's got, like, things in the back of it. Um, it used to be a a bug back in the day and he fixed it and now it's back so um you can't really back up so all right let's just kind of get out right here save the game because i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get sniped like instantly and let's kind of see if we can kind of shimmy our way up here and do some i don't know do some reconnaissance or see what's what come on come on bro there you go i'm gonna get stuck here yeah there's no way i can get up there all right well let's just get, let's just look around man let's look around and see what we can see yeah, everyone's like, um, like, half my friends tell me, oh yeah, I've snuck up and executed everyone with just a knife. And then I have a bunch of other friends who say, yeah, every time I look in that direction, someone snipes me. So, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not really, like, a good, like, stealth guy. So, I don't know if this, I don't know how this is going to work for me, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see what we can see. Next episode, I think we're going to go to the mine, by the way. Um, that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. We're going to make a pickaxe. We're going to go to the mine. We're going to get some stuff. We're going to see what we can get from the mine. I'd like to start saving up like uh, like stockpiles of ammo, by the way. It doesn't look like there's any way I can get up there from this angle. Um, so I'm just going to kind of run up and uh, run in the way that I was going with the truck. Maybe I just drive in with the truck. Just freaking blast it in like freaking like an episode of A-Team. You know? Dun, 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 dun. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Yeah, I'd be like freaking B.A. Baracus, you know? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because why the heck not? No, I can't even back up. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of the... Um, it only seems to work with the... It only seems to happen with the lockers, that not being able to back up thing. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the lockers in my base and just carry around the suitcases and stuff. All right, let's see what we got going on. I see he's right there. You see him? All right. And so they got they got one in that tower right there, and then they've got one in the other tower across the way. All right, guys, that's the hill to the other side. There's two ways into the bandit camp. This hill and the, the hill that I was at before. Um, this one seems to be a little bit more forgiving, maybe. Uh, let's just kind of get up here and see what's what. It looks like I can go over there. If I get out, I'm getting sniped. I could go over there, or I could go on the right side. Uh, when I did this off camera, I went to the left side, went over that mountain, got instantly sniped. So what I think I'm going to do is, I'm just going to come down here a little bit, turn this off. All right, by the way, I got rid of all the, um, all the lockers and put the, the trunks in there. It's, a, it, it's definitely better with the trunks because I can actually back up now. So we're going to kind of just try and come up here. Now, if I come up here, I'm going to get sniped, right? Uh, no, no, look okay so far. 
Looking okay so far. I gotta come and stay up here. I mean, this guy can really see. Like, he's got, like... I mean, he's basically got PC vision. Like, you know, like, he's a, he's a AI vision. Like, he, he basically just sees you there because he's a robot, you know? Uh, is there any way I can get... I don't think I can get around here. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. And there I go. All right, if we're gonna fall down here no matter what, I guess we gotta come down here. And I'm gonna try and work my way around. We'll see what we can do. We will see what we can do. All right, so this... Uh, can I get up there? It doesn't look like I can really get up there. Come up. Oh, you can do it. Oh, look at that, huh? All right. All right, we're getting somewhere. Now, can I get up there? The second I poke my head up over this ridge, I'm not even going to have any warning. It's just going to be pop brains out the back of my head. Oh, did you see it? Did you see the eye? Did you see the eye? No, I'm not going to go up there and show you again. You, you either saw the eye or you didn't. Oh, I know that. I know that cabin. Okay. Oh, the eye sees me again. Oh boy. Um, I wonder if he can hit me on the run. Yep, he can. Of course he can. So that's the cabin. Remember that? Oh wow. Are they coming after me? I don't know. Maybe. Yes. No. Maybe so. How bad am I? Yeah, I'm doing pretty bad. Second, I step out from this tree, I'm gonna get popped. Somebody said he he some one somebody said that they ran in between the trees to get to the sniper. So I don't know. I'm doubtful. I wish we could lean. Yeah, I mean, people said they snuck up on this guy. How? <laughs> really? How? Look at this guy. He's like, I see you behind that tree. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I, snuck, man. I mean, maybe I can get over to that side, but I, I, if I cross over across this way, he's going to nail me. Hmm. The trees do seem to be working. Now, this is he's going to nail me here, right? Maybe I can come over here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh is he going to keep shooting? Doesn't he have to reload? That's four. Five. Well, I guess he shot me through the tree. <laughs> Guys, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, I'm going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.